What's going on, YouTube? We're back with another episode in the FPS series. It's been a bit, but that's purely because Minecraft stuff has been happening, and uh, those episodes should be, at least one of the episodes should be coming out soon, but that's not what we're here for. So let's get into it. Uh, obviously, if you don't know what we're doing, or you want a little bit more explanation on what we're doing, um, I'll, I'll try and put it in a nutshell. We're trying to be able to attack... Um, Right now, we're just going to do attack. I suppose we can do the shield later, but we just want to be able to attack while walking. Um, and so we'll do that uh, instead of having uh, our attack solely be idle. Because right now, if we start walking, it's just idle and that's it. Um, and we don't want that. And I see there's a little jump there, and it like there's a little jitter, so I may have to fix how it resets back to huh sorry I was just looking at the timing of how the feet were moving it just it still seems a little slidey to me but anyways um, so we just want to be able to attack while still walking so uh, a lot of that um, is in the animations blueprint and that's where uh, majority of that is going to be solved so let's just hop into player stuff uh, and then go to anims and hop into RPG underscore brew underscore anims. Of course, if that's not what it's called for you, um, then this is probably not the file you're looking for. Now, I did a tutorial just like this for the FPS series, how to reload while walking, because previously I... Uh, oops, my mic just went to the side there. Previously... Uh, in, in that series, uh, un unlike this, where it's all third person and you do kind of pay attention to the feet just a little bit more, just because it's there in in, in the ca in the camera pretty much all the time, you you know. So when you're attacking, it's pretty uh, in immersive if you're just sliding across the four rows. In the uh, FPS series, you're not really looking at your feet a lot, so sliding across the floor while while reloading wasn't as big of a thing so I never put it in there that he had to stop and no one really complained about it either for the same reasons I'm assuming but I did put it in there just because you want that immersion factor and in case someone was you know doing a third person slash first person game so I thought I'd take this and I'd show you how to do it for the shield uh, and I'd do show you how to do it for attacking obviously right now we're just doing attacking next episode we'll do the shield but here's what we need to do so uh, we need to have something that stems off of the walk uh, instead of uh, for for attacking. We we need to ha the walk needs to have its own attack instead of going to the idle attack. So we need to delete this and delete these. So these are the conduits. We need to uh, uh, let me clear up what what we're doing here. We need to delete the conduits. Uh, going from attack to our walkable in space. I'm just reloading, relocating this just because I suppose. Um, it, the the uh, the animation graphs usually do get a bit messy because you have a lot of stuff starting to stem off of your idle animation, obviously. Um, but let's uh, um, let's let's get up, get our uh, set up for attacking off of our walk. So. Let's get off here. Uh, let's drag off of our walk and uh, add state, and we're going to call this uh, walk. If I could spell walking attack, and uh, we're going to want to line this up and drag the conduit back. Um, and and with this, we're going to want to open up the transition uh, here and. Uh, obviously, it's going to be blank, but sorry. First, I want to actually uh, uh, get uh, this. I want to get this. So go to your idle to walk. Select those two. And control C if you're on Mac. Command C. And I'm going to go here and paste it with Control V or Command V. And I'm going to do and. And then just hit enter, and that'll pop up. Now connect the return value here to your can enter transition. And obviously, the red to the red here. Now off of this, we just need attacking. And then off of this, I want to I want to copy that. Control C. 
and then I want to go to the transition from walking to attack or sorry from attack a walk attack to walking so we need to paste this but what we need off of off of the attack is we instead of going and uh, this this pretty much just means walking so instead of walking and attacking we need walking and not attacking um, so that that'll be good now obviously it's not gonna work because we haven't set up uh, anything in here yet but if you may you may be like well what if we just like stop attacking and walking why won't why don't we just connect something to the idle well it will that's kind of just a waste of conduit and a waste of time setting all that up it, it's it's real quick but really it's you know um, it's unnecessary when you can literally just have it go uh, back the way it came which will read instantaneously um, to the hue and eye obviously in the game it's gonna recognize it took a couple milliseconds but let's be honest a couple milliseconds isn't going to be super visible um, and so it's if you just stop attacking and walking at the same time it's just gonna stop attacking and walking it's just it'll just work like you uh, want it to so uh, let's open up our walk balloon space and select this and control C to copy it or command V of course and then go into our walking attack now I'm gonna paste this here and I'm also going to get um, I don't know which which animation it is because I know there's a couple oh no I didn't get a, top, a couple but I'm just gonna since it's slash I'm just gonna go I'm gonna go back here my bad sorry I'm gonna go here I'm just gonna type slash and then it's gonna get that animation and so what we need actually is uh, let's uh to to blend these together so that way we have walking and attacking at the same time let's uh, go to our final animation pose and drag off the result and uh, double click on blends now we've got a couple things here but what we need is layered blend per bone now once again this is pretty much the if this is gonna look fairly familiar if you watch the FPS tutorial on this but I'm just kind of demonstrating how to do this for the RPG series in case you're one of those people I know one of those people I'm one of those people who subscribe to someone but they've got multiple series and if it doesn't have like the series title in it I don't usually click on it even though maybe it is something I'm looking for and I just don't recognize it because it's the series title I'm like oh I'm not following that you know if it's if you're someone who's not following the FPS series but this is what you're looking for I thought I'd just throw this on the RPG side too but obviously this is gonna be for the sword and the shield I'll do the shield later but let's just connect these up um, and the blend weights uh, I think I had that at about a hundred or two hundred so I, I don't quite remember I'm gonna throw a hundred in there and I need to, uh, and we need to click on layered blend per bone so that way our details pop up in here and so what you're gonna have is um, uh, not a whole lot of settings right off the bat you're gonna have some uh, you know check whether you want blend weight to be a pin and uh, well it just says node here and then you've got some config settings that you can expand but there's nothing in here so what we need to do is we actually need to add one um, yeah we don't need to do any of that we actually need to add a, an element and now it's gonna say two members because uh, uh, this uh, it's a lot of branches like layering into each other but uh, it set, has two members that doesn't really mean much that just means it has two things that you can set so the blend depth I think I had that at about 200 and the bone name is very important now I explained this on the other series but uh, for the skeleton you need the lowest possible spine that is not a root now on the UE4 mannequin it has hips it, it actually has pelvis and then it has a root so it actually has two roots because the pelvis acts like a root and then there's a, a bone that's actually called root so obviously you don't want the root you want the spine which is the lower most uh, you want the the, the lowest um, bone that uh, bend, that bends the, the back so obviously you can just test that by going into reference pose clicking what you think is the lowest one and bending it and then if you're not sure you can just go to the next one and bend that and you're like oh no that's not it okay so what we do need is spine 
So make sure your capitals and everything are properly. So that was just a capital S. So I'm just going to type in spine. I'm going to compile. I'm also going to control S that. I don't know why that tab is there, but I'm just going to drag it. Um, that's just personal preference. That's not anything you necessarily need to do. Um, anyways, so we should be good now as far as I know. Um, the only thing that won't happen, let me just let me just check if I do speed, right? Start walking and I start attacking. I'm pretty good. I don't know why he's looking from side to side, but I suppose that's just the animation. And then if I go back to just attacking. What in the world happened? Okay. Oh, that's why. Because he he leans forward a lot, so there's a lot of head tilt there. So that's not the best thing. Obviously, if you had a better animation, that wasn't so throwing the character forward so much. That'd probably be a different story, but if we start walking... Oh, that's why we don't have a transition between uh, walking and attack. I forgot. I forgot to do that because it won't. It won't take the shortcut back around because it 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 has no way to. It it still its parameters are still to stay where it is. It's because attacking's not off now. If attacking were off, and then that were true, and then yeah. But if that were false, and okay, yeah. So what we need to do. This is my fault. I forgot to do this. So we need to conduit between attacking and walk, uh, attacking and walking attack. And so this is actually just really easy. Um, we need to get this. Control C, and it's the same thing. So attack to walking. Just make sure that we're walking. Um, obviously, we don't need to say walking and attacking because we won't be here if we're not already attacking. Um, and then we need to say not. And then off of that, um, we'll just connect that. So if I compile, then I start walking. And I start attacking. Okay. I really don't like the head movement. Like he's saying, no, I don't want to want to swing the sword, but I'm involuntarily swinging the sword. That's actually kind of terrible, but uh, that's that's purely because of how the animation is set up. Obviously, if you had better animations, um, that were that looked better when they were idle, I suppose, or when they were walking, that weren't so you know like moving his entire body forward like it is here. Yes, perfect. It transitioned. Just like a one two, and that should go back to idle. If I uncheck that, and then we can go from walking, and then from this, and then to walking. Perfect. Everything is working perfectly. Um, so now the only thing we need to set up is that the character doesn't need to stop moving on attack. So right now we'll just have it on blocking, because obviously. Um, We'll, we'll delete the the or and the attacking on this little branch off the tick. Uh, I just coincidentally coincidentally uh, was already here when I left off because I, I think that was the last tutorial I did is was how to block. Um, so if I play that, well, first lag happens. But if I I'm still okay, I'm still idle when I block, and I uh, now I swing when I attack. So pressing and holding. Um, the pressing and holding wasn't working, and that was actually kind of confusing. Okay, it like wasn't working a moment ago, so that's why I was a bit confused, and that's why I was I was going a bit silent on the mic. But yep, so that's it. That's uh, obviously it'll it'll be working. Um, 
like that. Now it's not going to work too well for side to side. Um, I'm sure I could actually make it a bit better um, from side to side. There's some probably bone trickery I could do. Um, it would let me think about this because right now he's attacking as if we were walking this way even though we're walking this way okay so huh that that's a lot of that's just animations but uh is what it is so anyways thanks so much for watching uh if you liked you could leave a like and if you had some issues or you appreciated or whatever just just comment just go in there and comment away uh comment what you want the next thing to be and uh, real quick i just wanted to throw this at the end but we are super close to two or sorry not two but three thousand subscribers not a big number in the grand scheme of things but uh definitely a milestone um so yeah i'm super super excited uh never thought i'd be to three thousand in uh about a year i've been doing uh this youtube channel for about a year and i've been doing unreal tutorials for about uh i'm gonna say about 10 months uh something like that so Maybe more. I haven't really checked, but uh, I should. I should know that, and I feel bad that I don't. So, anyways, thank you so much uh, for your support and your constant views and the growing subscriber base that I've been getting, which is pretty awesome and phenomenal. And I didn't think that me being super un uh, unsure of my uh, quote unquote skill in Unreal Engine would uh, make me this successful. And it just wants to, you know, freeze while I'm trying to go on about my small success. So, yeah, I uh, never thought I'd make it this far in YouTube based off of uh, uploading a video that I thought would never succeed because I was like, oh, I'm, I'm too unsure about this, and so I didn't, I didn't upload Unreal tutorials for a while, and I was like, maybe I should because I'm really proud of this and I think this is kind of cool so maybe someone wants to find out about it and that video worked really well and then the second Unreal video I post is actually my most popular video so you can check that out it's kind of outdated and uh, you know obsolete and doesn't even matter now but is what it is and it's still really cool so anyways thank you so much for your support and watching liking commenting and subscribing and hopefully hopefully I will see you in the next video peace